Here's a quick tutorial on how to compile FL Digi on a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, when out of the box, uh, FL Digi isn't installed. Uh, you have to go to Add Remove Software, and if you do a search on FL Digi, you'll notice that there's an older version out there. This takes a few seconds. Yeah, see, this is the older version. Now you can install this and then do updates, but uh, you really have to know what you're doing. And most ham operators do not feel comfortable with Linux. And you can go right to the website, download uh, the source files. Now if you notice, that's 4.015 at the time of this video. And you can click on all these different programs. Which ones do you download? Which ones do you don't download? Um, if you really don't know what you're doing, it can get a bit tedious. So, made this quick. There we go. So if you go to um, my Google Drive, and this is a quick shortcut to the Google Drive, I'll post the link in my... Uh, YouTube video. You can download these five or six files. Wait for it to come up there. There we go. So you go one, two, three, four, and five, and the README. So if you download these files, they're fairly small. Um, we'll do the first one here. Let that download. There we go. We've got the second one here. That's the executable that I wrote. It's a small script. And that one. We'll do that one. I'm going to show you how easy this is. You won't have to know any Linux commands, except for maybe one. Okay, so now I've got all the files. We'll just go into my downloads folder, keep them all in your downloads. Yep, there they are. And click on the README file. And we're going to keep this file open because there's a command in here uh, to set our compiling environment. We'll get to that in, uh, in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, we've already done step one. And uh, next we're going to go into our terminal. And we're going to change to the downloads folder. There we go. Now we have to make the script executable. So it's chmod777 fldigi-mlb. That'll make our executable or make our file executable so we can run the script. And we just type in dot forward slash fldigi-mlb. So if I hit enter right now, I'm going to end up getting an error. And I'm going to show you why. See, there's the error. It's because we have to export our compiling environment. So I can copy and paste that right now. But just to show you, in the documentation, here's the lines. Just copy this to your clipboard. Right click, copy, go back to our terminal program and right click. Well, first of all, we have to control C out of there and paste and just hit enter. You won't get any prompts. There we go. Everything's fine. Now, if we do our up arrow, run fldigi hyphen MLB again. And now if I hit enter, it's going to download all the updates for the operating system. If you've already done this, it's going to be really fast. But um, if this is out of the box, you're going to want the you're going to want to run these updates. Um, I think updates take about four minutes or so. And, and we'll eventually skip ahead here. So you're going to get these prompts. Hit yes on all of these. You're probably going to get this about three or four times. And then after that, it's going to be smooth sailing. And again, what we're doing is downloading all the updates for the operating system. Once this is done, We'll hit enter again. It's going to extract all of our files. It's going to compile them. 
make the installs, put them in the proper directories, and we won't have to sit here and watch it, um, watch it work. However, after the uh, after we start the second step, it takes approximately forty minutes or so. So it's stuck right now on updating the man database. Database and the man database is actually the manual database. Um, this this is pretty large, so it's going to take a minute or so. If you've ever wanted to know what a command was in in Unix or Linux, um, you just type in man as in manual, man space, and then the command, and it'll give you all the various ways of uh, running that, that particular command. For example, uh, in DOS it's DIR to display the files and the directories. In Linux it's LS and you could type man space LS and it'll give you all the different ways of showing the, uh, the manual or showing the, the list. Um, okay, so I've skipped ahead here and now I can press enter. All the downloads have been completed. And once I press enter, uh, go get a cup of coffee. And actually make a whole pot because this is going to take about 40 minutes. And once it's done, everything is installed. So let's fast forward. Okay, now it's coming to the end here. Now at this point we can type in dot forward slash FL Digi and run the program, but I want to make sure that it gets put in the proper location uh, off the start menu or the launch menu. And it should be under internet, but for some reason it doesn't show up. And I can either reboot or take a chance and type this command LX panel control restart. That usually works. Sometimes it doesn't. It takes about a few minutes. No, it's not going to show up. So we're going to restart, but before we do that, I'm going to clean up my installs because we downloaded a lot of stuff. sudo apt-get clean. This will clean up all the uh, the junk that we downloaded. And if you look in my downloads folder, you can actually delete all this stuff now. For now, I'll just keep it. But let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, it's not showing up. Let's go ahead and restart. So we'll re reboot. And boom, we're back. And let's click on the uh, start menu, and there we go. We got FL Rig and FL Digi. But before we run it for the first time, let me go into terminal, and I'm going to type in LSUSB. This is going to list um, all of your or all of my USB devices, and we're going to look for the sound card. And there's the CS Media Electronics. So before I go any further, I just want to explain what I have. I have a KX3. I got the the, the Pi 3. And I've got a cheap audio uh, device, USB device, um, that I had laying around. The audio out of the KX3 goes into the mic input of the sound card. And, of course, the audio out of the sound card goes into the mic input. I also have, you have to have a, uh, a USB uh, plugged in from the Raspberry Pi 3 into the KX3. So to take a look at this one more time in simple terms, KX3 audio out to the sound in and the KX3 mic to the USB sound out. These sound cards are really cheap. This one is from Adafruit. It's for $5. This one works um, uh, pretty well. Um, I've only tried it one time. Uh, I just happened to have an old one laying around that I got off of Amazon that I bought for $7. It was laying around in my drawer. This works really well. Plug and play, no issues. So now that we know our sound card is uh, working, we can go ahead and run. Um, we can do FL Rig, but let's do FL Digi first.
and we're going to click next enter in our information such as call sign QTH grid square not sure why the operator sign call sign would be different and our antenna and here we want to make sure that we're checking our sound card and it should say the USB I guess that's right we just want to make sure that it's USB and not the internal sound card that comes with the Raspberry Pi and we're going to ignore RigCat for now we're going to use HamLib pick our KX3 or whatever rig you're using and the device I'm going to make sure that it's set for that USB 0 because that's my rig just to make sure yeah there's nothing else there so that's got to be it now I might hit initialize but for right now I'm going to ignore that just click next and finish this up and I actually don't have the audio turned on while I'm recording this but I can see that it is working let's just make sure yeah yep it's fine and I can see some PSK traffic coming through oops let me get that out of the way and here's some PSK traffic come through just click on it I actually hate these colors and fonts so I can adjust them later but at least you can see that it's up and running and uh, and I didn't have to do any compiling or, or know how to extract files and making sure the right libraries are there everything is already built in simple I'll go ahead and configure the FL rig as well because that has to be done separately same thing there, there it is make sure that I'm in USB 0 and initialize and we should be good to go let's see what happens yep 14070 there you go we're done just like the crazy Russian hacker on YouTube says, boom, easy. It is easy.